In the southeast of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula separates the Caribbean Sea from the Gulf of Mexico. The Yucatan is one of the heartlands of the Maya civilization. The peninsula comprises three of the 31 states that make up the Republic of Mexico. Yucatan is a flat plateau rising to just a few meters above sea level. At different places along the shore, the mangrove swamp is a true sanctuary for wildlife. A very wide variety of tropical fauna live on the peninsula. Over the last few years, a number of biosphere reserves and national parks have been created to protect a rich but fragile environment. Many species, some of them endemic, played a fundamental role in Maya culture. Species both of animals and plants. Nature is omnipresent, but has to be contained so that the architectural heritage does not disappear from view. The mainly Catholic Yucatan population has much in common with the rest of the people of Mexico. The inhabitants are very young, with nearly half of them under 20. The Maya are still very much in evidence in Yucatan. They make up more than half the population, and many influences have come to enrich their culture. Schools in Yucatan are bilingual for the first few years. The children are taught in Spanish and Mayan, a language that for a long time remained an oral tradition, but which is now written using the Latin alphabet. The principles governing the traditional Mayan housing are still adhered to. They use traditional materials and modern architecture still has recourse to them. Only the building techniques have been perfected. The Spanish colonial period left a very visible imprint in the architecture. Buildings from that period form part of a carefully preserved history. The Maya often used the platform. It's one of the characteristics of their architecture. But the most spectacular element of their heritage is the stepped pyramid whose truncated top served as a platform for the temple, as can be seen at the famous site of Chichen Itza. The pyramid, of course, makes us think of Egypt, but the Egyptians had technical means at their disposal that the Maya didn't know about. At Chichen Itza, homage is paid to a divinity worshipped throughout the region, the plumed serpent. A rectangular court and stone rings were used for a ball game. Two teams played with a rubber ball. The aim of the game was to get the ball through the hole without using your hands or your feet. The losing team, or the winners according to some historians, could have their heads cut off as a sacrifice to the gods. The Spanish took possession of Yucatan in the 16th century. They weren't interested in the ritual objects of the Maya because they weren't made of gold. The Maya resistance to the invader was weakened by internal rivalry. The triumphant Spanish imposed the Catholic religion and a very centralized organization. They imported their traditions. Religion became the pretext for their conquest and the cement of their empire. Despite a leaning towards independence, Yucatan became a permanent part of Mexico in 1848. The history of Yucatan has been turbulent, but Maya traditions have always remained vigorous. The work of craftsmen is another factor that helps traditions to survive. The products of nature, like plant fibers, provide large quantities of materials that are easy to work with. Music and dance, too, keep very ancient traditions alive.
Music pervades the holidays of the many tourists visiting the Yucatan. Tourism is one of the main resources of the peninsula. The year-round warm climate on the beaches of the Caribbean coast attract visitors. As far as possible, small infrastructures take their inspiration from traditional architecture and try to blend with natural surroundings. Water sports and beach activities can be combined with exploration of the coasts. These are natural resources that Yucatan promotes as much as its archaeological vestiges. There are many ways to discover the sites, whether they are the work of man or the work of nature. It's very important here to respect the environment and to be very familiar with it. One good way is to enjoy a stay in the very heart of nature. Yucatan has a dense and widespread communications network. Renewable energy complements plentiful oil resources. Cancun Airport is, for millions of visitors, the best way to enter into Maya culture.